Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Today I'm going to show you how to edit the XML files on Farming Simulator 22 mods to increase their capacity. This is going to work with any values that have a capacity, such as things like crops and a combine harvester, folk stuff and a tipper, auger wagons, buckets, even fuel. But in this video, we're going to keep it simple and only change the capacity of a tipper and a combine harvester. I'm going to be using the Kloss Dominator 108 SL and the Strauman SEK 802, two mods that Giant Software have made for FS22. These are all platform mods, however, you're only able to edit the XML files, OPC, and Mac. So this is not going to work on PlayStation or Xbox. Just a heads up there. And all that out of the way, let's jump right in. The first thing you want to do is download Notepad++. I'm going to have links in the description for all of the downloads. All you got to do is click those three links and you'll find exactly what we're doing today. So just click this right here and then hit download and then you're good to go. Once you're running Notepad++, go ahead and exit out of that and then pull up the links that I've put below or download whatever mods that you want. Maybe you want the John Deere X9 2020 from Sid Modding. Maybe you want something else. Maybe the Man TGS Take Back. Maybe you want to increase the capacity of that, even a fertilizer spreader, which I highly recommend, by the way. Uh, today, we're just going to be doing the Class Dominator 108 SL, and we're going to be working on the Stroutman SEK. Reason being, these are Giants mods and pretty easy to show off in a video. So, Go ahead and download both of these. Once your downloads are complete, double check where your downloads actually go. For me, everything goes to a folder called Downloads, so that's super easy. Then you want to create a separate folder. For me, I create mine in Documents, and I call it Custom Mods. And I've actually got it pinned over here, so I'm just going to take mine and drag it into that folder, but you can drag yours wherever you want. Now that we've got them in here in an easily workable space, we want to unzip them. So I'm just going to go in and extract all. That's going to be on the Class Dominator and now for the Strauman trailer. What this is going to do is it's going to bring up some open uh, folders here so we can actually get in here and modify a few things. This, this is how you do it. Now that the mods are extracted, let's get to modifying some stuff. So click on the Class Dominator and we're going to find three things. We've got three folders and we have something called mod description or mod desk let's take this first mod desk edit with notepad plus plus so right click on that and you're going to see your title right here i'm just going to put modded at the end of that that's literally all you got to do just click save now minimize that go over here to the dominator 108 sl this is the combine itself sort by type go down to xml file it's the only xml in here and you'll see it boom right click edit with notepad plus plus this is the file for the combine harvester that you can modify so i'm gonna go in here we're just gonna add modded at the end of the store name and then we want to go down to where it says fill volume it's going to look like a kind of a jut end to the right yep right here it is and then there's only a few things that we need to do right beside combine it has capacity this is your leaderage you can make this number whatever you want. Do you want this to be 10,000, 100,000, 100 million, whatever number that might be? Well, you can do that. For me today, I'm just going to change this to 100,000. Now, there's a space afterwards. Where that space is, put in this code exactly. Now, I'm going to put this in the description so you can copy and paste it. But update with a small u, mass with a large m, equals, and in parentheses, put false in parentheses you can put a space after that if you like what this is going to do is it's going to allow a hundred thousand liters in however the crop isn't going to weigh anything since this is a smaller combine it's going to be a little bit heavy so you don't want a hundred thousand liters in that combine update mass equals false now it doesn't weigh anything and that's it there is one other thing that you should do however and that's going to be called dischargeables. Now, we kind of have to go down a little bit for that. I'm not exactly sure why it's so far down, but uh, you want to find this right here. Dischargeable. You can see right here, empty speed. That is 188 liters per second. That ain't enough, homie. We're going to change this to 5,000. You don't have to change anything else to it. 5,000 liters empty speed per second. You got 100,000 liters in there, that's still going to take a little while. It's still going to take, what, 20 seconds? So sit back and relax. It's going to take a hot minute to unload. That's why you don't want it to be 188, because you're going to sit there for like, what, two minutes, something like that? Ridiculous. Go to File and hit Save. And you're done. That's your combine. It's completely finished. There is one other thing that I want to show you real quick. Go over here to C510. 
Just for fun, go to Types, go to your XML file, right-click, Edit with Notepad++. In here, change your name to modded. We're gonna make this thing go fast. It's so easy. Go down to the second set that says base. If you see base, value, Tim. This is kilometers. So for, I don't know, 32 miles an hour. I don't even know how fast the thing goes. I think it was 15. Um, you want this to maybe be more. So I'm just gonna take that and make it 50. That's about 33 miles per hour. And now you've got a fast header. That is it. That's it. So go to file, make sure everything is saved. We've got everything saved. Now, come back. You wanna find your main folder. Click on this main folder and copy it. So now you've got the name of the folder. Double click in while we're inside, select everything, send to compressed zip folder. This will kind of rename whatever one you accidentally click on. Just copy that in and then underscore modded. That's it. This right here, literally, that's all you gotta do. Grab it and drop it into your mod folder for Farming Simulator 22 and jump in and have some fun. Now with the combine out of the way, let's do the trailer, the Stroutman SEK. So when we click in this, we don't have a bunch of folders. We just have two XML files and that's it. So we're just gonna go ahead and select both of these and edit with Notepad++. Starting off with the mod description, an 802 modded. This is gonna change the name of it. Go ahead and hit save while we're at it. And then this part is pretty simple, but there are, I think, four different things you have to change in here. So first thing, we just want to change mod it on store data. Then we want to go down to where it says, I think it's fill units. Now this one's a little bit different because it doesn't jut out. Yeah, fill unit right here. The first one is bulk, but it has capacity zero because that's actually the bell trailer. We want these so we've got 4,000, 8,000, and 12,000 may look familiar because those are the capacities that we have for this trailer in the game. Now, we're not actually changing the top one, the params. This is what it says, not what it is. Below that, we've got capacity bulk 4,000. So, this is the number to change. Sorry, <laughs> losing my breath this morning. In the capacity beside bulk, change this to whatever you want. I think for me, just to start with. I'm gonna do like 10,000 for the first one. I think that'll be fun. I'm also gonna change the params so that it matches once we get in game. Now, to the right of that, we need to do this update mass equals false thing again. You don't have to, uh, but it's gonna get heavy after a while. So definitely, definitely do it. Update mass equals false. And then put a, uh, a space at the end. You can also copy this, including the space, and now you don't have to type it in again. Go down, params. 8,000, so beside bulk, let's do you know, 25,000 for the second one. And then params right here, 25,000 for that as well. Beside capacity, just copy, or uh, paste in. Update mass equals false, that way it doesn't weigh anything. And our last one, this one is 12,000 liters. I'm gonna make this 50,000 liters. You didn't do whatever you want. Now you can do the smallest one equals a bajillion. It's up to you, it really is up to you. Update mass equals false. And we're done. That's it, except for dischargeable. So go ahead and go through. You can see right here we have dischargeable and we've got a couple different empty speeds. This is gonna tell you what it is, but you kind of have to look around. So uh, effect grain back and then we grain left, grain right. So change these however you like. Um, I prefer mine, at least for smaller trailers like this, sometime, somewhere around like two and 5,000 liter capacity unload. So you could choose whatever you like. I'm just gonna go with the 5,000 for all of these. So the um, rear grain door and the main door and everything like that, it's all going to unload at 5,000. You can also see right here, this is the grain door itself on the very back. You can change this something smaller if you want. Maybe I'll do that, 2,000. Go with the <laughs> realism. <laughs> and that's it, guys, that is literally it. Go through, file, save all. You can go ahead and exit out of that. Again, go back, copy the main file's name. That way you've got it. It makes a little bit more sense whenever you're trying to sort stuff later. Uh, send to compressed zip folder, paste that in, underscore modded. Grab that, drag it into your mod folder, 
And I'm happy to tell you that you're done. You got two modded mods now. Yeah. Once you're in the game, if you really want to find out if it worked, go to downloadable content and go to installed. And you can see right here, we have the Strauman SCK 802 modded and Class Dominator 108 SL modded. Nice. We'll just go in. We'll load it in. Make sure everything is working for you guys. Show you in the game. And then we'll load a few things into it. And I think we'll be just about done. In the game, load up, and then uh, you can go over to Harvester so we can check our Kloss uh, 108 here. So there it is, 108 SL Maxi modded. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Remember, we didn't change any of the customization, nothing like that, no point. If you can see on the left-hand side, 100,000 liter capacity. This thing is rocking. Let's go ahead and lease one of those. Now with that, we've also got the header. If we right click on that, it shows us what's in the pack. So with this, we have the C510 modded header. And you can see it goes 31 miles per hour. Actually, it'll go about 33 miles per hour because miles per hour to kilometers is a little bit funky. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get ourselves one of those. And let's go ahead and check on our tipper. So let's go into trailers and let's see if we can find this Stroutman 802 modded we've gotten a bunch of mods already so you may have to go through a few things uh let's see 802 modded right here uh capacity 4000 well all right so maybe i didn't change something quite right however it is holding exactly what it should 10,000 liters 25,000 liters and 50,000 liters so we'll have to go through and figure out what those configuration numbers actually were because I didn't see them. Nonetheless, you've got them right there. That's a 50,000 liter tipper that costs you about 13 grand. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, let's open this up. Let's turn it on. Let's open it up. I'm just going to fill it with uh, wheat. And there you can see 100,000 liters of wheat. And I'm driving it around like it weighs nothing because... It actually does <laughs> weigh nothing. The crop inside weighs zero. And that's it. That is modifying XML files for beginners. It's super easy to increase your capacities and it makes it super simple as well. So now you can get out in the field with one of your favorite harvesters and you can use the combine or the trailers that you want for any job, not just the ones that you have to use. That's why I really like doing stuff like this. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Check the description down there. I'm also going to link my custom mods folder and these two will be in there. So you can download these and be all good. I'll be said. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.